Nobody knows how we got to the top of the hill Since we're on our way down Might as well enjoy the ride Secret love isn't opening up your heart It's okay to feel afraid Just don't let that stand in your way So if you record at home, you're trying to get the absolute best, most professional, world-class sound you can right there in your bedroom or your living room or wherever it is you record. I want to help you do that. And one of the things that I've, I've been thinking about lately is how to get a great microphone for vocals, acoustic guitars, etc., but to do it on a budget. Now, I didn't go to NAN this year, but I found out that Mackie, a company that I really do appreciate and trust, came out with a new line of microphones called the Element Series. And they came out with a dynamic and they came out with a USB uh, condenser mic, but they also came out with this baby, a large diaphragm condenser called an EM91C. I was very intrigued and I went online to see what does this thing sound like? And guess what? I couldn't find anyone who was using one. I still can't. I could not do that. So I checked online and I thought, well, what's the price of this thing? You know, if it's low enough, maybe I'll give it a try just because I trust Mackie. So I went online and I found out I could get one of these for under a hundred bucks. In fact, this one, I think I got it for 83 bucks. Now, how's it possible? A large diaphragm condenser, a cardioid pattern, uh, which is sort of the pattern I usually use when I'm recording vocals or acoustic guitar. How could I get that for under a hundred bucks? And if I did, would it sound decent at all? Well, let's find out. So I've been super eager to test this thing. And when it arrived, I thought, what's the best way for me to really give this thing a run and compare it to a mic that I really love and trust? So I'm going to pull out my AKG C414BULS. This is a mic that I bought in the early 90s. Uh, and I had it modified. I mean, it was great to begin with, but I brought it to a guy named Jim Williams of Audio Upgrades, and he took out the transformer, and it just became a desert island mic. Just super transparent, beautiful. It sounds great on acoustic guitar. It sounds great on lead vocals, backup vocals, whatever. I mean, any acoustic source, this thing is sort of my absolute go-to. Now, I read on the packaging of the Mackie that it said, this is your new studio go-to. I'm like, really? Under a hundred bucks, it's gonna become my new studio go-to? Well, how about we compare it to my actual studio go-to and see how we feel about it. Let's, let's do some comparisons. I want you to hear acoustic guitar and vocals and you can make up your own mind. Okay, now a 414 is a pretty deluxe mic because it has a gold sputtered capsule and it's got some really cool attenuation features. It's got four different polar patterns. So this is a very, very flexible mic. In comparison, the Mackie is not flexible to the same degree. There's no attenuation on it. It's just cardioid only. However, it's a really nice looking mic. It's about the same size. You can see there pretty comparable. I think the capsule is very similar. Comes with its own shock mount. I thought that was a really cool feature. So the Mackie mic has a significant roll off in the top end. You can see it right in the response curve. Whereas the AKG has a significant boost in the high end. The Mackie I think is intended to be able to be used as a stage mic. And you need high end roll off to prevent feedback in most cases. Uh, the AKG is pretty much a studio mic, and so that's to be expected, right? That you, they can boost the top end without the risk of feedback. So I made a couple of EQ adjustments to compensate a little bit for the darkness of that high end on the Mackie. By doing that, I think we get pretty close to a similar response curve for the two mics. The two mics sound both remarkably good, both for the acoustic guitar and the lead vocal. See what you think.
secret life is enjoying the passage of time Any fool can do it There ain't nothing to it Nobody knows how we got to the top of the hill Since we're on our way down Might as well enjoy the ride The secret love is in opening up your heart It's okay to feel afraid Life is enjoying the passage of time Any fool can do it There ain't nothing to it Nobody knows how we got to the top of the hill Since we're on our way down might as well enjoy the ride The secret love is an opening up your heart It's okay to feel afraid Just don't let that stand in your way Cause anyone knows that love is the only road Since we're only here for a while Might as well show some style Give us a smile Isn't it a lovely ride? Sliding down, gliding down Try not to try too hard It's just a lovely ride Enjoying the passage of time Any fool can do it There ain't nothing to it Nobody knows how we got to The top of the hill Since we're on our way down might as well enjoy the ride The secret of love is an opening up your heart It's okay to feel afraid Just don't let that stand in your way Cause anyone knows that love is the only road We're only here for a while You might as well show some style Give us a smile Isn't it a lovely ride? Sliding down, gliding down Try not to try too hard It's just a lovely ride Joy in the passage of time Any fool can do it There ain't nothing to it Nobody knows how we got to The top of the hill Since we're on our way down might as well enjoy the ride The secret of love is an opening up your heart It's 
okay to feel afraid Just don't let that stand in your way Cause anyone knows that love is the only road And since we're only here for a while You might as well show some style Give us a smile isn't it a lovely ride Sliding down, gliding down Try not to try too hard It's just a lovely ride So there's your guitar and recording discovery. A sub $100 mic pitted against a thousand dollar plus desert island mic. What do you think? I'd love to know in the comments. Please tell me. Also really appreciate you coming back for more gear tips and tricks like this. Uh, please like the video, subscribe, hit the bell so you get notified when new videos come out. I love doing these things and can't wait to see you next time.